Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I just wanted to take you guys through a Sunday, kind of vlog what I do. Um, I'm about to go on a long walk with Fitz. Hi, boy. I just fed the pups. Fitz, come here, boy. Coco um, isn't really allowed to be around other dogs a ton or playing and going on long walks, so it's just me and Fitz today. So today, I think I'm just gonna clean up around the house. Um, I have to get my nails taken off really bad because they're trash. Part of me just like doesn't feel like I need to bring just like your typical Sunday things. I need to literal this hat, but here we are. Just a mom. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and go on hopefully like a 45 minute to like hour long walk. This is like such a good way to start off your day. Guys, just look at how beautiful my latest things are. I showed you guys this in the last vlog. Um, my perfect match boys lie set, which is the cutest thing ever. Um, I cannot wait to wear this. I got the one, I believe I got the medium set, right? I know sometimes they're one size and sometimes they have actual sizes, um, but I get the medium size if that helps at all. Um, and it just like, they're seriously the cutest sets. There's nothing like it. This is my hat, my cowboy hat that I got yesterday at Boot Barn. And then also I got this this morning, which I haven't shown you yet, even though I've shared it in so many videos, my Ordinary Squalene. This is the best serum ever. It's so hydrating. It is like my holy grail. I absolutely love it and it's $7. So I will have that link down below so you guys can check it out because it's just so freaking good. All right guys, so I am back. I need to actually get ready for the day. It's like 10.30. Um, I went on a really long walk and then I did a Devo and stuff and it's been a good morning. I need to figure out what I'm wearing and then I'm actually going to film my makeup and hair like kind of everyday curl routine for Instagram because I have been meaning to do that and I really like my new makeup routine like I absolutely love it. And my everyday curls are like the easiest thing ever and I'm obsessed with the tool. Maybe I can share a little bit of it. So I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I have to go get my nails taken off and then drop off. Um, my friend's birthday present, which I'm excited for then come back. I think I'm gonna film today I'm actually in the mood to film and normally on a Sunday I like take the day off and chill but Dom is gonna be here this week So we're gonna be at like my lake house and I mean obviously like not really anywhere besides my house is but um, I feel okay working today just because like Dom will be here this week. So Anyways, oh, yeah, by the way, my set is set active so cute Love. It's my only set from them and I want more, but I just haven't picked them up. I don't know why. You know, I wish I had my lines to wear today, but um, Fist decided to tear them. All right, well, I have leggings here. I need to put laundry away today. I feel like I always have to put laundry away, guys. It's like half of my vlogs. So I put, I'm literally wearing just a tank top and leggings, but I put this sweater on to make me look like I'm trying a little bit harder. I did my makeup routine. It's gonna be up on IGTV. You guys already know all the products I've been loving because I've talked about them so much lately. But um, let me pick one. The Hourglass Dim Light Powder. I've talked about this in my favorites video recently. I've loved this product for years and I haven't had it in a while and I picked it up again and it just like changes your skin. Like I don't know if you guys can even tell on camera. Maybe I'll do it without lighting. But like my skin it just glows. And it just looks so much healthier and it's from that powder. It is next level. So I have to go to my other bathroom to do my hair because the plugs in this bathroom, guys, since I moved in, I've still not figured, I've not, no, I figured it out, but I haven't fixed it. I don't like how this light is so yellow at all. Basically you have to have a certain kind of outlet in bathrooms. It is beyond me how when I bought this house and this got through and passed the inspection, but they're not the right outlets for a bathroom because they turn off when there's like water near. So I still just haven't gotten that done because I'm kind of waiting for my electrician to come over when I have like all new lighting and stuff. Like I don't want to make that many trips. So I'm kind of just waiting for that. But until then I'm in my other bathroom doing my hair. Honestly, like I need to wear something that isn't black in this video because my hair is like a little bit darker. I mean, I'm so lazy, like I put it on top and you can't even, hopefully, I mean, you're definitely gonna be able to see this thing underneath. So I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and uh, quickly <gasps> fix this. You can tell it's like a filming day because I'm wearing pants that don't match anything and I just keep changing my top. But anyways, we're gonna go 
the other bathroom and do my hair for a little Instagram reel. So I'll show you guys how I've been doing that on my Instagram reel. It's like my favorite my hair has ever looked probably, just as far as styling goes. I can't believe I'm actually getting ready on a Sunday. This is kind of crazy. Um, and it's super easy. I'll link the hair product down below. It is a babyless, babyless, whatever, I don't know. Um, one and one quarter inch. My sister like told me to get this and I was like, yep, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. So that's what we're doing. All right, guys, I just did my hair. It like legit takes me six minutes to do this. It is so easy. So the Instagram reel will be up soon, but it is currently 11.25, I think I'm gonna go do some dishes downstairs. I'm gonna change back into what I'm gonna wear and then I, th oh, you know what? I wanna stop at Starbucks before I get my nails done. I have a gift card, so I'm like, how'd you go? Well, it is currently like 12.30 and I'm eating for the first time today, which I'm such a breakfast person, so it actually like, is just so not me. I got the pumpkin sweet cream cold brew. I accidentally got just the pumpkin cold brew the other day and you have to get the sweet cream. I get, some, I've been getting some DMs from you guys saying you weren't that impressed with the drink. And I really just think that it's probably because you forgot to order the sweet cream, which is an easy mistake. We've all done it. Um, anyways, I also got breakfast and I am on my way to the nail salon. Um, it was like a 30 minute drive here. I'm going to a very COVID safe salon, so I'm excited for that. I've only gotten them done once since COVID, so um yeah i also have been listening to miley cyrus on joe rogan and it's so good also the weather has not been as bad in texas recently like the highs are 80s and i'm just thriving i want this to feel like a fall day so like i'm listening to albums that remind me of fall and i i want you guys to share yours because i have mine okay miley cyrus it makes it feel like fall because it reminds me of a very there's this one specific fall that i had that was the best fall of my life in high school so random and i was just like the best time ever and Taylor Swift reminds me of fall Miley Cyrus reminds me of fall um, obviously John Mayer things like that like I'm only playing fall music from here on out so I can really get in the vibe and get ready you know in two months from now my tree will be up so like this is so exciting guys got my nails done we're gonna stop at Barnes & Noble because I want to get this like mental health book the birthday girl it's your birthday month this is what I aspire for guys this is what the book club is going to be. I want to read this. Should I read it? It's only to be read. This is a good book. I read that. Have you read Where the Crawdads Sing? Yes, I love it. Good book. Uh, incredible. So good. Also, really good, but I already said that. Here's the thing, though, like... Hi. Hello. Picked up my new book, guys. I got an actual physical copy so I could, like, write in it and stuff. It just seemed like the type, you know? Hello everyone. Okay, um, I am on my way home. I just stopped at Liz's to pick up a package for her since she's out of town. Anyways, I just like feel really good today. And even this morning, I felt like slightly a little bit anxious, but I just, first off, obviously I love Brenna. We've been friends for like 10, 12 years, like one of my closest friends in the world. So that was great to spend time with her. And I also just feel like so good just being me and kind of back to myself i've been feeling you know i've shared my little episode over the past month but i just feel really good i want to get back into like eating really healthy too and just like doing things and kind of setting myself up for success as far as like dealing with any sort of mental illness or like whatever and just kind of being my best self like i normally feel like i'm doing but i want to learn even more and I'm just so curious and I want to learn more about like gut health and all these things that I really do think everything is linked. When I get home, I need to film a video. I'm going to film a video actually about having divorced parents because I've been getting so many messages from you guys lately about it kind of out of nowhere. So I feel like it would potentially be helpful for those who have, um, you know, divorced parents, which is about 50% of America. So... I'm gonna do that. I need to film for the living room as well, actually. And I'm really excited. We're gonna go through the book of James, which sounds fun. So, really excited for that. I'm excited to try, or I'm excited to read my new book. I will definitely share um, everything that I learned from it, or like a lot of things. I think just as I'm reading it, I'm just really pumped for this. I don't know, I'm just like really feeling good. I was playing some music, just playing some music on the drive home, and just feeling good, you know? All right, guys, so I just filmed I'm So Hot. I was wearing a crew neck and I also 
just brought up my huge laundry basket, which is so much heavier than you would think, up to the top floor of my townhouse. So I'm also so hot because I couldn't have the fan on when I was filming. So anyways, I'm putting on my laundry in a second and then I'm gonna shower, self tan, do all that stuff. And then I'm gonna edit tonight and read my new book, which I'm so excited for. Oh my gosh. I'm literally out of breath. This is embarrassing. It like doesn't matter how in shape I am, those stairs always kill me with that basket. This is probably a stupid question, but this just hasn't happened to me before. Like, what is this? I know it has something probably to do with my detergent and my washer. Like, this is not water, just so you know, there's like a stain on the shirt. But I came, literally I got my clothes out of the washer, and this is on a bunch of t-shirts. And that is really freaking annoying because they're all like ruined, I think. So, tell me what that is. Please explain it to me. I know one of you guys has to know. Just, ugh, so annoying. Anyways, I ordered a smoothie from DoorDash. The link is down below, um, $10 credit. And I'm going to go downstairs, feed the dogs, and take them on walks and stuff, and then start editing, I think. I might. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner yet. All right, guys. I got a Smoothie King smoothie, and I've been editing for a while. I just have YouTube on my TV. Right now, I am currently posting something to the Patreon that will go up this week. Actually, we're going through the book of James. So if you guys didn't know, I have a Patreon. We call it The Living Room. Um, it's basically just like a faith-based... Patreon, very exciting. So I'm getting all that situated and then I edited my divorced parents video already and I edited an IGTV video and the hair reel. And yeah, I think that's it. I just been working on my computer and just doing all that stuff. So trying to get this all situated for the week and I've been planning out some more podcast episodes for the living room and I'm just getting really excited. So that's basically what I've been working on. All right, so I'm trying to, I've been having a really hard time with my file size on IGTV. Like every video I export, it says it's way too big. So I'm trying to compress the file size. I'm kind of dreading tomorrow because I have to like really organize my house and just put some things away because they are going to be moving furniture and I want to like get the stuff off the counters. I'll probably just put them in boxes or something so that they can't be broken and stuff. I'll figure out how I'm gonna do that. I'm sure I'll vlog the process of it. But then Tuesday through Thursday, they will be installing my new hardwood, which isn't actually hardwood. I got laminate. I need new vloggers to watch because like I'm trying to watch videos and there's literally nothing in my subscription box. And I'm like, okay, I need something else to watch. So you guys let me know who I should be watching. Tell me who your favorite vlogger is. So if you guys join the Patreon, then you have access to all the videos and podcast episodes that we've already have up there and then new weekly content as well so it's really fun i did a whole thing with val and with dom and like it's just been a good time so working on that um and i want to start reading my book soon so that's what i'm gonna do guys okay this book i literally cannot even describe to you like i have heard so many people talk about this book Specifically Miley Cyrus on the Joe Rogan podcast, but I just I know that Dr. Amen is like very well respected and whatever But it talks about your brain in relation to Basically every aspect of your life, but it is So good and there's so many things that make sense to me now and even Like this specifically is the breakthrough program for conquering anxiety depression obsessiveness lack of focus anger and memory problems and basically he does these brain scans and blah 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 and obviously they're not like super easily accessible to everyone because they only have nine locations and i'm sure they're expensive but he has like an online assessment and i did the online assessment and obviously they're like this isn't as accurate at all like it's best to get a scan but in case you just you know were interested and i looked i did the assessment and i looked at everything it said and i'm just like pretty in depth and i couldn't believe like how accurate it was and just helpful and then it tells you like i'm on page one 
15 so far. I want to have him on the podcast so bad. So I'm on part two, but so far it's like the 12 principles to change your brain in your life. I'll have this link down below, by the way. And then it's like looking into love and depression, the limbic system, and with with my assessment, it said that I had a high limbic system, which the limbic system is, let me just tell you what it is. So the limbic system processes our sense of smell, stores highly charged emotional memories, and affects our sleep and appetite cycles, mood, sexuality, and bonding. So problems in the limbic system are sadness, clinical depression, increased negative thinking, negative perception of events, flood of negative emotions such as hopelessness, helplessness, and guilt, appetite and sleep problems, decreased or increased sexual responsiveness, social isolation, and pain. So when the limbic system is turned on, our emotions tend to take over. And there's just so many things too. I'm like, I have just been... The way I've just tried to communicate with people recently is I'm like, I just know that something is off. Like, this is not normal. Like, there's something so off. Obviously, this is like my first night reading this book, so I don't feel like I'm very well spoken on the topic, but it is so interesting. And then I was already talking today about how I really want to kind of, well, I guess essentially I was saying how I really want to eat for brain health without realizing it. There's also like the brain warrior diet, eat right to think right and all this stuff. And I already got some, I already got supplements from him as well. So I um, will show you guys when I get those, but I'm just so excited. I really think I am so for medication if that's what you need. And like, I've been on meds like off and on my entire life, but recently I've tried three different ones and like, I just cannot seem to get the right one right now. And I actually think I'm just better off off of them right now because it's really just kind of turned me into like a different person. I share this because I share a lot of things, but I don't want any of you to think like, oh, I shouldn't take meds or I shouldn't do this or whatever. Like I am so for medicine. I think it is incredible. I've had really great experiences with it in the past, but just recently I just haven't really been having the best experiences and I kind of just want to give this is shot and try other things and like diet and um, supplements and things like that just for the time being. And if I feel like I really need to go back on meds, I will keep trying. Anyways, with that being said, I am literally like so excited about this book, guys. I know it doesn't look that exciting, but I am very excited. So I'm not going to do this as a book club book because we normally do fiction books, but I definitely would like love to have him on the podcast. That's like a dream, but I want to finish the book before obviously i do that and i'm already a fourth of the way through it's like 400 pages so i'll probably finish it this week but i'm honestly the most excited for the food portion of this maybe when i get really into this i'll do like a what i eat in a day for brain health this is how far ahead i think like what am i even talking about okay well anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i love you guys so much um i'm going to read on my kindle and go to bed but i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog just hanging out on a sunday and I'm vlogging tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.